Hi everyone, I'm June and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Konbini Ningen, or in English, The Convenience Store Woman, written by Sayaka Murata and published in 2016. You must know that this channel is mainly about science fiction and fantasy, but sometimes I am in mood to read other types of books and genres. That is why I want to bring to the channel other readings also. By the way, a convenience store is similar with what we know as 7-Eleven, and these companies are very popular in Japan. The convenience store woman is a story about Keiko Furukura. She is a 36 years old woman who has been working in the same convenience store for many years. She lives alone, she is quiet and very hard worker, she has a relaxed life. Everything goes just fine. The problem is that for the friends, the relatives, the co-workers, the Japanese society, Keiko is a rare case. A 36 years old woman must be already married with children and having a full-time job. So Keiko feels the pressure but finds a creative but weird solution to her problem. Okay, let's talk about the book because I have a lot to say so just in case I might say or share some minor spoilers. Of course, I never tell the ending, I never <laughs> spoil the ending, so don't worry, although the ending is kind of predictable anyway. Well, how I ended up reading this book? I happened to follow a Japanese booktuber, Negitoro Kun. I don't speak Japanese, by the way, my Japanese is less than basic, but I love watching the covers of the books. I find them so aesthetic. Anyway, he happened to show this book with a cover that caught my attention, and after searching for it, I found out that this book is translated into different languages, and the same day, I happened to watch the same book in the channel of a Spanish booktuber, Libreria Nueve Tres Cuartos, so I thought it is a sign. I had to read this book, and I was lucky to find it in the digital library. To be honest, I have always been connected with the Japanese country. Japan is my dream country to visit, and it is sad that I live a couple of hours away from Japan, but I still can't visit it. Anyway, I have read a lot about the Japanese culture, so the convenience store woman was not a surprise, neither the writing style. The writing style has that dark, sometimes creepy and weird feeling. It's hard to say without spoiling, but the plot twisted in a weird way that it's hard to believe that something like that would happen, but I have found this style in other books. The plot itself is simple, it's about this woman who has survived the Japanese culture for many years but she can't sustain her life anymore. I felt a huge connection with the main character, we share many things, so in some way I felt reflected by Keiko. I like the story, but as many Japanese stories it seems to be a bit sad and depressing. Keiko as a character is a weird character. So it is hard to say if Keiko is just a shy person or just a robot without emotions. This was the only aspect of Keiko that I didn't like and I didn't feel connection with. Konbini Ningen is just another book reflecting the reality of part of a sad Japanese culture where the stereotypes and the customs are still strong among the people. I enjoyed the book. It's very short and I read it in a couple of hours. I enjoyed the beginning. The middle of the book was kind of weird, kind of funny, but not that believable. And the ending was very abrupt and kind of predictable. And it reminds me of one scene that happens in the middle of the book, in case someone noticed it. I think the ending feels so magical and beautiful but for some reason sad at the same time. I think there are many details that I would love to share with you, but I think at the same time that you have to read this book so you will understand and enjoy it. Okay, my friends, that is all for now. Stay safe and be happy. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.